G'day and welcome. And the first thing I want to say is Merry Christmas to everybody. And also celebrating that we now have just over 20,000 subscribers. And that to me is huge because I can't imagine 20,000 people have ever listened to anything I've said before. Whatever the case, it's been a very productive past few days. And it's unusual for me because normally I come out here and I'll do an hour here, an hour there, or two hours, whatever. And there's always some commitment I have to go and attend to. You know, kids and family and my mother. My mum's not too well at the moment, that sort of thing. So the last few days, I've pretty much spent all day over the last few days in here doing work. Um, I've just been really in the mood and motivated to do this sort of stuff. So lots and lots have got, has got done. The XC boot lid is 95% finished, which is wonderful. I've got bits on the armrests done, the power window switches are done, they're ready to go back on, a bit of work on the Starly. Um, the Plymouth wheel up there is looking beautiful and it's nice and silky smooth now so that can go into uh, into the car and there's also going to be videos on all this stuff that I've been talking about. This is the extent of the Christmas decorations I've got in here, not that much, but I don't want stuff to get dirty. So I'll show you in a roundabout sort of way, there's lots of videos coming up, there's stuff on the bikes, there's stuff on the cars and lots and lots of content coming up so I hope you enjoy. I stole a caramel at Corral from one of my daughters. Mm, Starly. Now, Hopefully the wind is not too bad, you can hear me. Paints the laminate on this guard. It looks awful. Now, here in Oz, cars like this, old cars that look shabby, the police tend to pull over. Um, and if cars are on they slap a canary on the windshield. And a canary is just a slang term for a yellow defective vehicle notice, and you have to get a road weather and all this sort of stuff to get rid of it. So, this car's had the engine replaced with one out of the red car the cyclist hit and all the brakes been done, drive shafts, everything. I did the interior up in a series of videos. I use this thing because it's very easy for my mother to get in and out of. She has very limited mobility and um, sort of more modern cars with thicker sills and more bolstering on the seats means she can't get out. So I take her around in this and have the seats folded for a little walker in the back. It's a great little car. It needs a wash though. But at the end of the day, I don't want it to look so shabby. And it does. Hello, um, Mum's cage in the door. So I'll get a door for it. Got to repair the sill a little bit. The rest of it, the bonnet's had it. But the rest of the structure's good. I've had a good look at it. And it needs a grill and a bonnet and a door. And then we'll be on a good car. We haven't pushed the hinges back. Um, the car drives beautifully. 50,000 kilometres, I think it's done. So we need to get some panels for it and get that one sorted too. The XD, um, I've got, the paint's dull. Oh, can you see, yeah, it's a beautiful colour. But it's now dull, I painted this 12 years ago. Can you hear me? Put that in the corner. Nope, there's just as many there. Um, I painted this car 12 years ago and it needs rebuffing. It's all sort of all dull. And the paint on the roof has been ruined by a car cover that leaked. And you can see it's all crazed. Uh, moisture's got underneath the paint, so the roof needs to be repainted. Um, we also need to put a transmission cooler on this car, which I've been I've had for 12 months and I haven't got around to fitting it yet. Have a look at this, it's full of roughness because I didn't um it's old primer and it's gone all lumpy and horrible. So that'll all block out. I don't care about that. I couldn't care less. The main thing is it actually feels pretty good and I'm happy with it. Just got to do underneath it now. A couple of spares. This is off the silver car that my son at the time and I were going to do up together, but that ended up going, that car ended up getting disposed of um, when I got the Plymouth because of room and that sort of thing. So we'll get a heat gun, get rid of that live sticker, take the indicator off. This is just a really thick scuff and paint. It's been under the house. Um, let me get that out, squeeze that out. Give it a wash, literally just scuff it up. I'll prime it and throw some paint on it. Won't match properly because the paint I've got is obviously new off the paint coat in the car, but it'll look better than having flaky paint everywhere. Oh, it's going to be one of those ones, eh? It'll come on. 
Give it a bit of a clean. Um, good thing about these, they never rust, they're galvanised. There's still a bit of snot in there, but I don't think a lot of that matters because I'm not painting behind there. There's a bit of factory overspray from Toyota themselves. Just doing the jam. These things are quite cheap. The cars aren't worth anything. You can almost pick these guards up at the $2 shops. But the only thing I need to clean out, oh, there's a bit of snot in there. You can see that. Um, whatever the case, that's pretty easy to rectify. You can see I've started unmasking the thing. The wheel. Um, that's the time of trepidation to see if you've masked properly. This colour is Wimbledon white, it's the same as the X10 XW. It's basically just white with a tiny bit of black, a heap of red and ochre in it. It's a very warm, creamy colour. The first time I opened a can of it, I thought it was springtime yellow. The black is soft, so I don't want to pick it, I want to kind of roll it. But I'm not having much success because it's stuck in it pretty tight. Here we go, I think I got it. Easy to get what I'm interested in. For the grand reveal, there you go. Isn't that lovely? And look at the part. Uh, just get this bit off and we're good. Bloody toy compressors, pesky things. Uh, this one is good for 200 litres per minute, so it's great for running air tools on. And Full size guns, you know, touch up guns, that sort of stuff. It's really, really good like that. But it's been unreliable in that it's only a toy, basically. The load valves quit on it down here. And what that does is when the compressor stops, you'll hear a psh, like a little bit of pressure come out from the cylinder so the motor can restart. It was starting to give trouble last night, halfway through painting that. And that's a bad thing because I was halfway through a pot and it's quit. I managed to finish painting what I was doing and clean the gun out and so forth. There was just enough air for that. It's only a 50 litre tank. But the thing would just hum when it came on. And there's two capacitors here. There's a start capacitor and a run capacitor. And the start capacitor flogged out. Um, got to make sure we discharge these things so it's nice and safe to touch. They basically, like batteries I suppose, they charge up in no time and of course release all their current in time constants if you like or milliseconds just to give the engine the, or the motor a, oof, a good start which you need with the compressor. So $35 part, the trouble is it's um, Christmas time and everyone's closed but a great mob in Glen Waverley. I'll give them a little plug. They actually fitted it, I didn't fit it. Uh, Aristoc Road Glen Waverley number 28 and the place is called Conan and they are super helpful and very reasonable too. A new motor, a whole new motor is $190, but I didn't need to get one. And the replacement would be a higher quality one than that too. So anyway, look, time to put the lid back on. Give it a kick in the gut to see what happens. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, so this valve here filled up with um, rust. I just did a quick fix on it, but I'm expecting that to fail again at some point. Whatever the case, she works for now, so we can get back to work. See his boot lid, which still needs a little bit of work. And at long last, I can clear cut this bloody steering wheel. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. So I can finally get round to planning this snarly guard now I've got the compressor fixed. This is brought to you by Gun Cam. This is for people who stuff their paint jobs because they're trying to film it. <laughs> I'll be back from here, eh? Uh, and here. And the nose. Oh, hopefully it doesn't go on the finish. This is acrylic, so it dries really quickly. Yes. Damn. Do you like this? Isn't that beautiful? I'm very happy with that. I don't know why people have satin and flat finishes on cars. I love clear coat. So that's it from me. Uh, here's the boot lid. It looks absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of a thing I want to block out there, but that'll just, I'll be able to attend to that just through the high fill. And of course, that's just a mark there, I think. There's a small run. Um, but otherwise, this boot lid is ready for paint. It's really, really good, and I'm happy with it. These armrests are wonderful. They're nice and flexible. There's no paint crack or anything like that, which is good because I did use the flexators I keep talking about. 
Got the door trim fitting kit, attended to all the power windows, which is, they're all lovely and they've tested well. Um, you're also going to get the plastic before I put the door trims on and also t attending to the belt line moulds for, uh, for the door trims. And then I reckon we can get those doors all back together. I've got the paint for these. Um, I do have to get another kick trim now. This is for the passenger side on the XC and basically the driver's one I've got is the same colour but it's all sort of busted up behind you. If anyone's got one of these can you let me know? I'd love to buy it from you. Um, I stay away from some of the eBay ads and that sort of thing just because people you know, think they're worth a million dollars. So that will determine, once I've got that, sorry, then I'll paint them. And if I've got one the same colour, if I can get one the same colour, I won't paint it. Because the paint I'm getting, or the paint I've got for these, sorry, is pretty much identical to that. Starley's front guard, um, painted that in the blue. This is going to get an ISO 3 two-pack clear on it. That car lives outside, so I need something sort of harder and all that sort of stuff. I will let that go off properly. I've just painted that, well, two hours ago, I think. And then that can go on the car, so that's all good. There's also a spare cylinder head for the 350. That one's got a couple of brakes in it. The guy's going to look for another one for me. Um, so I'd sooner something a little bit less busted up than that, if I can get it. The um, This chap has been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Of course, there's the starter clutch and the starter motor, which I can stick into that dunger motor, and we can make up another bike. There's also a frame and a set of forks and a swing arm on the way here now. Uh, Plymouth wheel, I'm stoked with that. I love clear coat. It feels absolutely beautiful. So that can go back in the car as well. So until next time, there's lots of content coming up. As I said before, there's this on the, the wheel, a full video on that. There'll be more 354 action. There'll be even more 354 action because we've got to get that one done. There's a couple of videos on the Suzuki. Some of that stuff didn't go as well as planned, but I'll come back to it. I'm not too worried about it. That bike looks absolutely lovely. Um, XC Falcon, we're going to take that out. I've made a couple of decisions with this car, which probably won't be popular with some people, but I'm doing the same thing with that car as I did on the XW. I do have to watch the cost of things. The bumper bar, the rear bumper bar at $1,000 to get chromed, no, nah, it's just going to go straight back on. So we'll put the boot lid on, we'll put the rear bumper on, um, the vents on the back around the back window, and we'll put all the interior back together with the power windows and all that sort of stuff. Then we've got to look at getting brake hoses for the rear of it, bleed the brakes, and then we can concentrate on the front. That car's not far from being finished. So until next time, have a very Merry Christmas and a safe and prosperous New Year. See you around.